but so this is a, this is a um, change that would be exciting to test out. <laughs> okay, I just saw a comment that I thought it was really, really funny from uh, Foxy Player Game. Uh, does the shell has to kill if the, if the region is full? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, that was really funny. The answer yeah. is yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, it has no. to wait in the in the shell queue. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we should totally have that. It's like, your shell is it's three third in line. Yeah, <laughs> third in line, and it. Uh, that was really funny. Troops, I saw a bear here. Today we'll be talking about update thirty-three for Foxhole. This update is a follow-up to the Trench Warfare update and improves some of the trench building mechanics, systems, and adds some new buildings for our defensive lines. Although this is a small structure, it's a big change to trench systems. The new trench modular structure is the Trench Connector. This is a special trench that automatically joins two nearby trenches or bunkers together so that you can form more cohesive defensive lines and close gaps that are too small for regular sized trenches. Like with regular trenches, these must be placed at trench connector points. However, they will automatically lock on to nearby trench systems to connect them. This allows you to make curved trenches and design all sorts of weird shapes with your trench systems. Just be careful, however. Depending on their placement, they might be a little bit finicky to set up, and it might take a while to set up as well. However, once it's complete, you'll certainly notice a difference with trench designs. Next up on the list is the Machine Gun Garrison. Think of this as a pillbox, but for the trench system. It's built on top of a bunker. When you're building it, make sure to rotate the mouse wheel to get the orientation of the guns correct, since it will be static and can only fire in one direction. It will chew through infantry like well church cheese. And of course, everything I've just mentioned up to this point can be upgraded to Tier 2 and then Tier 3 as well, including the Trench Connector. One thing I will note, though, is maybe don't rely too heavily on Trench Connectors, since they will take about the same amount of resources to upgrade as regular Trench Systems, even though they aren't as long. So don't build an entire Trench solely out of Trench Connectors. Let's go! Check fire, check fire. Also, be careful that you don't get stuck. And lastly, for the new trench defenses, we have the Howitzer Garrison. Yes, a garrison that supports a Howitzer. The Howitzer Garrison is an entrenched Howitzer manned by stationed troops. However, do note that it won't open fire on nearby enemies. Instead, it will only return fire against targets that attack connected bunker networks. Now these do take quite a bit of concrete and resources, so be sure to place one, maybe two at most, in an extended bunker system, or else you're just going to be wasting them if you put them all on their own. Speaking of big guns, the Storm Cannon has seen a new facility added to it, the Advanced Ranged Finder facility. This extends the range of the Storm Cannon by 33%, and it enables the Storm Cannon to fire at targets in other adjacent regions. You can see here I'm cranking the max distance up to 1000 in this scene, so now you'll be able to rain hell on your opponents from out of region. Next up are some changes to the chat. Within the chat box, you can now directly commend, report, mute, or whisper to someone by selecting their name in the text chat. This makes it a lot more efficient to respond to people who are always whispering at me and I keep forgetting to respond to them. Sorry about that. You'll also notice that all chat has been removed. You'll still be able to do the all chat with your team across your region or the entire world. However, all chat with the enemy team has been removed to reduce some toxicity and honestly pointless conversations that never go anywhere. Don't worry, you'll still be able to yell at enemies in proxy chat, 
That hasn't changed. The long-awaited change, however, comes in the form of World Logistics Chat. Logistics now have their own dedicated chat screen. Some new facility efficiency changes have been added in. Now, faction starting territory plays a role in your faction's efficiency. In starting territory regions, your efficiency will be much higher than in middle regions or enemy regions. This helps hopefully to reduce the effect of snowballing, especially if you're fighting on your own territory. Next up, when you construct vehicles at the vehicle depots now, they will start with the absolute minimum amount of fuel just so you can get them off the construction pad. This hopefully reduces the stalling at vehicle factories. There's also now a low fuel indicator, which should help new players out as well understand that, hey, you need fuel to drive. Repairing structures built with shovels now costs basic materials. This fixes the exploit that allows bunkers to just be repaired and spammed without resources, and it makes the cost of repairing anything and everything from vehicles to structures more consistent across the world. Some map changes have also taken place. In Godscroft, the bridges have been replaced with drawbridges to free up some of the waterways. The refinery in Prometheans has been switched with the factory in Axelhead. This is the balance against the refinery and factory locations in Fisherman's Row. Up in Mooring County, a shipyard has been added to Ogmarin, and multiple landings have been added to that river. It's basically been de-iced, which should make logistics from that map a little more variable. Up in Weathered Expanse, Fog has been updated with improved visibility and visuals, and all new environmental walls have been added, especially around the Weathering Halls area. It allows for more player interactivity. Basically, you can climb up onto these things and run the whole length, really. Next fight in Weathering Halls, it's gonna be a fun one. And in Tempest Island, the main island has been reconstructed to fix landscape hole issues. We all know I've experienced a few of those. The iris has also been made more suitable for water logistics, and some towns along the edges were relocated for balance reasons. It's also worth noting that there are new water visuals to go along with this update, and patchy grass will no longer block forts, or cause fast decay. One thing to note that wasn't mentioned in Update 32, but was however added, is that static defenses, that means pillboxes, foxholes, the new machine gun bunkers, these defenses can and will fire back at you if you fire at them from beyond their normal range. Take for instance this new machine gun bunker. It's firing back at me ever since I started firing at it first so all defensive structures now return fire. They're not very accurate beyond their normal range, but those dumb little AIs in there are still going to shoot back at you if you're shooting at them. Someone must have given them a field manual or something. Some game balancing includes... Light machine gun encumbrance has been reduced by 10%, so it's slightly lighter than the regular machine gun. Storm Rifle Encumbrance has been reduced by 25% to have a bit more of a competitive trade-off with the Light Machine Gun. Gunboat Health has been increased by 10%, as it was found that gunboats were being destroyed too easily on average. Barge Health has been decreased by 10% to mitigate the issue of barges being used to block bridges, which isn't their intended purpose. Dang it. Rifle Garrison at Tier 3 Health has been increased by 12% which makes it more consistent with the new Machine Gun Garrison. Landing APCs can now run over Tier 2 trenches. And again, this makes it more consistent with other tracked vehicles. Some other changes include... Updated descriptions of several trench and bunker structures have been added. The motorcycle is now easier to repair when standing on a sloped landscape. And AT rifles can no longer be fired from barges. Dang it. There were also a lot of bug fixes with this update, but I'll save that for the patch notes down below. And that's it for this update. Thanks for tuning in. If you like what you saw, like, subscribe, and share this with all the barge pirates out there who will surely be retiring after all the nerfs to barges this update. And as always, good luck, keep your heads down, and stay in your foxholes. Bear out. Alright, I need a team on me. Check that- oh crap. Oh shit.